Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to it. We're out here at Gap Creek. It's quite early. I think it's about six o'clock in the morning. I've decided to come out here for some reason at this time. Uh, it's a bit sprinkly out, but it's not too heavy. So we're actually gonna go check out a brand, well, it's not a brand new trail, but they've recently reworked Dingo. So we're gonna go for a bit of a pedal, a bit of a after, uh, be after? Before work pedal. Um, I'm filming obviously in the cab of my ute because it's still quite dark outside. I think the sun is set to rise about 6.30. So we've got about half an hour before we can actually see what we're doing. Um, but we'll try and crawl our way up to the top and see if we can beat the sun. It should be good. Oh, you can barely see me. It's, it's still quite dark. We're about five minutes past uh, sunrise, about quarter to seven. Uh, just gonna give it a few minutes just to rest up, uh, wait for the sun to maybe peek out from behind the clouds. Uh, wherever the sun might be. I don't know where it is. Um, the good news is that the, the drizzle has dissipated and I can pretty much see what I'm doing, but you know, for the GoPro, let's let's make sure that we can see all the, the minor details of the trail before we go bombing down it. Um, yeah, should be good. Gee, the light really is bad. I can, oh, there we go. Maybe if I point, I should have done that the whole time. But yeah, should be good. It's weird, like you can see me quite well there, but down here, nothing so maybe maybe it's not too bad to go down the trail now now let's see what we can do first time down the new and improved dingo trail top to bottom oh this is smooth what okay this is very smooth what happened oh jumpy okay that's kind of cool. Right. Okay. Continue on. Okay. It is a bit wet on these rocks, but that's all right. Oh, it's so smooth. What is this? This is a dingo. <laughs> It's fun though. Oh, okay. Wow, those berms are awesome. Bit of a rock beach in there. Oh, it's a bit loose when it's wet. Okay. <laughs> This is like proper smooth now. Whoop, whoop. Oh, oh, that's a tight burn, that one. Always cook that tree on the way out. Oh. Carry a speed though. Right, this is cool. Very different to the other trails at Gap Creek. So wide now. Whoop, whoop. Certainly changed. Oh. oh, I almost clipped another tree. Branch came out and attacked me out of nowhere. Okay, this is the fast pedally section. It's weird because there's all these fast, wide open sections and then they kind of duck into these really tight berms that have these narrow trees on the way out. It's 
like it doesn't know what it wants to be. There we go. Right, that was Dingo. 2021 version. Whoop. <laughs> okay. I definitely feel like I could have hit that a lot quicker. But it did feel fast. Yeah, no, it's it's fun. I'm having a hard time describe how I describing how I feel about it though. Just because you come to Gap Creek and you expect a certain type of trail. I mean, something like that might be more suited towards a place like uh, Mount Cotton or even uh, Daisy to some extent. Is it worth coming all the way out here just to do that one trail though? Probably not, but credit where credit's due. In the short amount of time that they had to work on it, the volunteers at, I think it's Bora, have done a pretty good job about it. Everything seems to be holding quite well. So yeah, good job. There were certainly a few beaches that I could have hit better. Even from the very top, there was like that little mini step down into landing, which I cased, unfortunately. Things to improve it for next time. At least I've done it now. But anyway, I suppose that's all she wrote. Thanks for coming along for a ride and I'll catch you at the next one. <laughs>